Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the email settings when you get a new subscriber. So if you want to get an email every time you get a subscriber or if you want to get an email just once a day or if you don't want to get emails from new subscribers, this, here's a couple of ways you can figure that out. Um, I'm just going to screen share now and go into email chimp. Okay, so when you land on your dashboard, it looks like this. Now, if you're setting up a new list, this is how you do it. You just click create list. And then on this first page where you're giving the list a name and you're writing your email address and all of that further down, it's got notifications. So you can either get a daily summary. So every day it'll, that you get or that you get subscribers or unsubscribers, you'll get an email. If you don't get any, then you won't get the email. If each time you get an, an, a subscriber, you want to get an email, then you would tick this one. And if every time you get an unsubscriber, you get an email, you tick this one. Now, personally, I, you, and you can tick none and get no email when you get new subscribers. Personally, I ticked daily summary normally because one email a day is enough, especially if you have a big, uh, an influx of subscribers. But if you want to get an email every single time, then you click this box. Now, if it's a, an existing list and you want to change the settings, then you just click on the name of the list. And then over here in settings, you choose list name and defaults. And then down the bottom here, new subscriber notifications. Now, one by one. So each time you get a new subscriber, you're going to get an email. You put your email here. If you don't want the email, then you just delete that from there. Then if you want an, a same story here you just chuck your email in so if you want one at the end of the day if you want one for each subscriber or you want one for each unsubscriber you put it in there and if you don't want it you just leave all those fields empty and then remember to click save list and campaign details and that's done so easy <laughs> have a great